Hi guys, welcome back to Tip Ranks. My name is Annika and here at Tip Ranks we love to hear what you guys think of different stocks you're looking at and your opinions on the market sentiment. Well today we're looking at Robin Hood. Robinhood has been speculated a lot throughout the bull run we've seen in the crypto markets. Well, Robinhood went public on July 28, 2021, but in the last six months, Robinhood has lost almost 75% of its share price. I feel like Robinhood has been one of those crypto companies that has seen a lot of ups and downs. They have been in light of a lot of controversies, but they've also done really well in strategic expansion and a lot of people had speculated on the stock. Let's take a look at what's been happening with Robinhood and whether analysts believe it's a buy. Now before we jump into this video, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when the Tip Ranks channel releases a video. So one of the reasons the Robinhood stock price has fallen is because there's been a decline in the monthly active users that their website has seen. They've also had a decline in average revenue per user and these metrics are quite fundamental in the performance of Robinhood. One of the areas of concern is that Robinhood has a limited crypto offering, whereas a lot of their competitors have been increasing the number of cryptocurrencies they have to offer. And therefore, Robinhood has become less and less a choice for a lot of cryptocurrency investors. Taking a look at the current price for Robinhood, which has a ticker HOOD, the current price is $13.91. And the analyst rating consensus is a hold. Five are a buy, six are a hold, and two are a sell. The analyst price target on the Hood stock is $20.17. This is a 45% upside based on 13 Wall Street analysts offering 12 month price targets. Now, if we take a look at the website traffic chart, we mentioned that the monthly active users had fallen. And this would make sense since a lot of users would use their website. So the website traffic tool is incredibly useful here. As you can see, this shows us that the website traffic has fallen over time. However, if we look at year over year traffic, you can see it has been fairly steady. But removing that, let's add the stock price. The stock price seems to correlate quite similarly to how the website traffic has fallen. It shows a similar pattern. So the total estimated visits on all devices are down 67.49% from the same period last year. This is quite similar since we saw a 75% decrease in the Robinhood stock price in the last six months. If we take a look at Robinhood's fourth quarter 2021 results that were announced on January 27th, we can see that the total net revenues for the quarter increased by 14% to $363 million compared with $318 million in the fourth quarter of 2020. And for the year increased 89% to $1.82 billion compared with $959 million for the year ended December 31st, 2020. However, it's important to note that they did report a net loss for the quarter and this net loss was quite large. It was $423 million compared with a net income of $13 million. So they showed a rather large loss compared with the net income they had shown in the previous year ago quarter. Now, the monthly active users increased 48% to $17.3 million for December 2021, compared with $11.7 million for December 2020. But on a sequential basis, the monthly active users decreased compared with $18.9 million from September 2021. So compared to the previous quarter, the monthly active users did decrease. But compared to the previous year ago quarter, the monthly active users increased. And here's a very similar story that happened for the average revenues per user. For this quarter, it decreased by 39% to $64 on an annualized basis compared with $106 in the fourth quarter of 2020. This decrease was mainly due to the lower trading volumes per user for options and equities and lower interest rate earnings per user from securities lending due to declines in market rates earned on loan securities. However, in this case, the average revenues per user for the year decreased by 5% to $103 compared to $109 for the year ended December 31st, 2020. But on a sequential basis, the average revenues per user remained consistent compared with the quarter ended September 30th, 2021. 
Now, given this information that we have, if we take a look at the tip rank smart score, it's deemed a two in that it is very likely to underperform the market. As the crypto markets have become increasingly bearish, with a few corrections that we've seen recently in the fact that Bitcoin's price has been up 18% in the last seven days, we could either go into a bearish period or potentially another bull run. But this still has a lot of uncertainty as to how it will go. The analyst ratings deem it to be a hold and the tip ranks investors are very positive. Blogger opinions are neutral, news sentiment is also neutral. Now the reason I mentioned why it depends on how the crypto market sentiment goes. Well, it makes sense. The more the crypto markets have a demand, then the more people will be using different exchanges and different platforms such as Robinhood. And naturally their decline in revenues have been quite correlated with the overall crypto market sentiment, which has shown some huge price crashes recently. Nevertheless, Robinhood is still aiming to expand. They are still fundamentally quite strong. Robinhood is launching their crypto trading internationally, and this could see immense potential in the crypto economy. In fact, they have set pretty aggressive goals to start opening their crypto platform up to customers in 2022 in the international markets. The company sees the immense potential of the crypto economy and they see a big opportunity in serving customers across the globe. Perhaps this will help them increase their monthly active users as they tap into new markets. Another piece of news is that Robinhood had actually spent a fair amount in lobbying in Washington. In fact, Robinhood Market spent the most money on lobbying in 2021. They put down a total of $1.35 million. Now, if you guys remember, during the crypto market bull runs, Robinhood had seen a lot of momentum. They even once saw a crash when there was a meme coin frenzy. Well, naturally, as we've seen the meme coin frenzy die down as the crypto market has shown crashes recently, naturally, Robinhood stock price has also declined. So guys, what do you think of Robinhood? Do you think they have the ability to recover? Do you think it's dependent on the crypto market sentiment? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when the Tip Ranks channel releases a video. Remember, this is not financial advice. Make sure you do your own research before you invest in anything. And please let us know on what stocks you're looking at and your opinions on the market sentiment. Let's start a discussion. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Woo! <laughs>